Hey guys, welcome back to MC Autos. I'm Matt. Here's Diesel. And there's the MC Autos truck. If you're in a Navara D40, I love it. She's great. Um, she's not really go off road too much, but does pull the trailer quite well. So, um, and today we're going to show you. I've already done it. We're going to fit snorkel um, we're just going to go walk you through how we did it um, and yeah about it really so enjoy afternoon oh hello right putting this on here it's a little bit took a bit of figuring out and it found me all too far to it yeah so we think we've got it lined up there. I'm just going to put a bit more tape on it, just keep it steady. Um, I'm going to get the big hole drilled out. And these weren't too far off, were they? No. We were just trying to figure out where that one went. Yeah, got to get when that, that lined up, it didn't line up with this. It, we were trying to figure out where the curve on that went on here. Yeah. And how it lined up up there. Yeah, because it says like a line with top of the fender. But I couldn't figure out whether that meant the top of the fender as in here, or if it meant on the line sort of there. Mm. So well, yeah, we figured it out, haven't we? We think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't drill a big hole, it'd be in the wrong place. I'm sure the views will see in a minute. <laughs> yeah, it'd be all Sam's fault anyway. I'll so, left it to, to you, Matt. Yeah, thanks. It's cool. Oh, I could do find in the middle of that hole. Yeah. So how are we doing this one? So, you just sort of pick somewhere, and then you pick up an easy measurement to remember. So we're going on this one. Uh, Several and a half. Seven and a half centimetres. You're going to want to do it more than that, though. Oh, I've got a bit more then, eh? Yeah, because if you do seven and a half, you're going to keep doing seven and a half and you're just going to find a big circle in the middle. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose. We'll right. go halfway through the middle and go yeah. nine then. If you did nine, and you do a couple spots, then the small, the, the hole that you're going to see, the little circle is going to be a lot smaller. Yeah, I'll go. Oh, we'll go through in the middle, eh? So I'll do nine. Well, that's, that's probably the. I bet that is the middle point if you get to nine again. Can't remember the word for it. What's double the radius? Oh, no idea. Diameter. So, between me and Sam, we pretty well much messed up how to find the centre of a circle. Um, so, I'm going to show you again how you do it. So, okay. I hope you can see that pretty well. Right. Draw a line, something that's easy that you can divide by half. So we'll go, we'll go three inches. Half of three, one and a half is there. Do it a couple of times, three inches. You need a set square. This probably not ideal, but I mean, it'll do for what we want. It'll be close enough. Put it, your straight edge along your line. Look for the middle. Draw a line. Again there. Try and hold it still, it's a bit difficult to do. Do the better square really. But anyway, there's the middle. Hope that sort of makes a bit more sense than how we were trying to do it before. What are we doing, Sam? Uh, I'm taking this off so we can take out the arch liner so we can drill this hole through for Max Snorkel. Oh, come huh? on. 
Get a whale off out of the way. Let's watch Sam lift the whale off. Whoa, kidding. <laughs> right. I'm going to get the wheel arch line right out of the way. Um, probably missing all the clips already because we've all probably just fallen out with it being in this half. I'm going to get a Phillips and take the uh, mug guard off. The clip in there. Get the other screws off. It's a bit, bit of an awkward one. What are we missing? There's a clip up there. They should have clips all the way up, like, you know, look like that. All over. In there and in other places, and that one. Most of them are gone. Loads of room there. See where it's going. So you can see where we've got to get to. So holes go there. Yeah. Which is being drilled here. We've got to get rid of that. Get that out of the way. And uh, then she's going to go in there. So the hole's been drilled there. Yeah. We've got piping to bring it around here and into there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it makes it nice and easy to get to the turbo. We'll know that for the future, won't you? Yeah. But we'll pull and we'll get rid of that horrible cat. Shh. Didn't say that. Oh, I didn't like doing that. <laughs> There's no going back now. Oh, I'll get rid of this then. I'll mark these. Ready for later. So we'll just take this off because I want to get into the air box and just see how that works. Get the bonnet open. Drive side. Yeah. Ooh. MC Autos. Squeeze, squeeze. What, where is it? Where is it, Matt? Right outside the wheel. There you go. Oh, it's, it's one of these ones. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I thought it was. Oh, it's underneath. There we are. I hope Matt takes all. I hope I said. I hope you take out all the struggling I had then. <laughs> but oh, you yeah, won't, will you? I thought you might. <laughs> pocket clip. Yeah, pocket clip. Pocket clip. Oh, the clips. Oh, another pocket clip. Pocket clip. Pocket clip. These are lovely new pipes. Yeah. Get more uh, we can't reach that one. Well, get a screwdriver and I'll do that. So what is the plan? Are we just taking this whole box off and connecting that pipe to here? Or how does it work? Uh, no, that. I think that pipe connects to this somehow. And I'm not entirely sure how. So I'm going to take it off and figure it out now. We need a 10 mil.
So the pipe we were looking at before, coming through into here, is this. So, probably a little tomato. I thought someone did, but I thought so. Oh. Oh. Lovely stuff. Oh, there's a, something attached. There's a trim tool down there. All that room now. Is it like a little U thing? Yeah, I think this lot, this lot's going to go, I think, and it goes straight into right. into that one rather than going through all this. And what's that? Um, we're a bit something Another to do filter. with. Yeah. Well, we're a bit something to do with stopping water getting in. So that's going in there. Oh no, I forgot which way around it is. I think it's that way. I just told to marry up. Something like that. That's about right. Now then, are you going to put that on this first and then attach it to that? Or should I try to attach? There's no point attaching this now, is there? No, you can't fit that because you need a big hole in there. Drill hole through it. Yeah. Right. No, I just thought I'd just try and get this somewhere like first. Just so you know how it all goes. Yeah. Get the uh, get a jubilee clip around there in a bit. But that's it for now, I think. We were doing that. Okay. Need to get a new air filter as well. It's a bit mingy. Yeah. I'll get a KM one. Ooh. <laughs> Another one, don't tell Becky. It's a fix it part. Yeah, it's a fix it part. No, oh, they're going to make it better. It's safer. Yeah. Well, I'll do it. Put your big hole now. Right, fun bit, sort of. Got a 90 mil hole saw. We're going to drill it. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest with you. Might end up putting a new wing on it, yeah. There she is. Nice big hole now in my wing. Not worrying at all. Too far off, I didn't. So it does say about eight mil holes, but um, I'm gonna do a nine to start with. I might go up to a ten. I'm not sure yet. Um, just just allow a little bit of wiggle room um, when we fit the snorkel actually onto it. So. In the back of the snorkel, you've got these little uh, inserts. There's come with these little studs. Just going to put a little bit of thread lock on those, and then we're going to put fit them in. Stop them vibrating out. Okay, 
So before we put it, fit it on, just gonna just get a file and just clean the sharp edges up around there and then just put a little paint, a little bit of paint around them to stop it rusting. I might put some masking tape over the front first and then get a spray can from behind or something. So there she is. She's pretty well much on. It's a bit fiddly to be honest. Um, I'll show you. So what I did first was you've got to get this pipe in first while you try and push the push it on which is a bit fiddly but and then obviously get your, your nuts here and you got some big washers to go on but oh drop me light the top one up there is not very fun to get at so you could do for ratchet spanner and um, what I did as well was obviously when I put this one in I filled it full of silicon on the inside of the hole just to I hope keep it water tight whether it does or not I don't know but it's remained to be seen I can't ever imagine it's gonna go any deeper than that really to be face it but you never know um, also I want to figure out whether I want the uh, the ram facing backwards or forward I don't know yet I'm sort of tempted backwards and then it doesn't get as much dirt and dust going in there and bugs and what else it could get in there so next on the job is to just fix the pipe in from here and it goes in just down to there. Hopefully that's relatively straightforward. So I'm just gonna pull the airbox back out and have a way up of that. I'm just pulling the airbox out, it's got two 10 mils in it. pipe here, big end, small end, small end onto the top of there and then I don't know how that's going to work like but something like that. That down there is very tight but we've got it on. I'm going to try and get a jubilee clip round that end and see if we can do the same on there as well, get another one on there and then also if we can get a jubilee clip on there let's keep it on, but to be fair it's on there pretty well, I don't think it's going to go anywhere Right, there she is, she's all on I've decided to go backwards for now Just. And we'll see where it goes, if I like it or not. I'll not made my mind up. But anyway, so got a big ju black Jubilee clip on there, keep that from turning. Um, under here, yeah, put my light somewhere like that. Got a Jubilee clip on there, and then it siliconed in as well. Uh, back up here, where she comes through, I've fitted a Jubilee clip on the inside of there and I've managed to get one on the bottom of the airbox as well. Um, so yeah, that's it really. There she is. So I'm just going to chuck the arch liner in and put the wheel back on. I don't think you need to see how you do that. I'm fairly sure you guys can do it. If you got this far, you probably know what you're doing anyway. Um, the other thing we did as well, just while I'm thinking about it, fit this on here, just drill straight in, 
I've got Titan M up yet as well, don't forget Matthew. And yeah, that's it. And then we're going to run it home tonight and then uh, we'll let you know how she is in the morning. Right. Snorkel's been on about two weeks now, something like that. I'm pretty impressed. I quite like it. Got it a little bit dirty, look. The rest of it, can't even see MC Autos anymore. Um, and it's just started raining, so that works out quite well. So, yeah, I decided to have it facing backwards. Um, you can hear it induction quite well. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with how it looks. So, what do you guys think? I can diesel likes it. You reckon, dude? No, I'm too more interested in that. But uh, yeah, if uh, you like the video, give us a little subscribe and a like. It is much appreciated. Um, I've got some other stuff coming soon um, that you think you guys might like. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye from me. Diesel over there, he says bye. Catch you in the next one. I hope Matt takes all. I hope I said. I hope you take out all the struggling I had then. <laughs> but oh, you won't, will you? I thought you might. <laughs>